China has emerged as a global leader in both green and nuclear energy, surpassing the United States through strategic investments and extensive government support. In the realm of renewable energy, China invested $546 billion in 2022 alone, accounting for nearly half of the global total. This has facilitated the rapid expansion of its solar and wind capacities, with plans to achieve 3.9 terawatts of renewable energy by 2030. Additionally, China's dominance in renewable energy supply chains, particularly in solar panels and electric vehicle batteries, underscores its commitment to a green energy future. This has facilitated the rapid expansion of its solar and wind capacities, with plans to achieve 3.9 terawatts of renewable energy by 2030. Additionally, China's dominance in renewable energy supply chains, particularly in solar panels and electric vehicle batteries, underscores its commitment to a green energy future. In nuclear energy, China is equally formidable, being 10 to 15 years ahead of the U.S. in deploying fourth-generation reactors. This progress is backed by state-funded projects and streamlined regulatory processes, enabling quicker and more cost-effective construction of nuclear facilities. As the U.S. grapples with political and economic challenges in its energy sector, China's cohesive national strategy and substantial financial support have firmly positioned it at the forefront of the global energy transition. In this video, we will analyze the status of these two rival countries in renewable and nuclear energy. China's Advancement in Nuclear Power Development According to a report by the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation, China is currently 10 to 15 years ahead of the U.S. in nuclear power development. This gap is particularly evident in the deployment of fourth-generation nuclear reactors. China's significant lead can be attributed to strong governmental support, which includes extensive financing from state-backed banks, streamlined regulatory processes, and a coherent national strategy focused on nuclear power development. China has 27 nuclear reactors under construction and plans to build 150 new reactors by 2035. The average construction timeline for these reactors is about seven years, much faster than in other countries. The country has also taken a significant step by launching the world's first fourth-generation nuclear reactors at the Shidawan-1 power plant, which features advanced high-temperature helium gas-cooled modular pebble bed reactors. In contrast, the United States has struggled with its nuclear power development. Over the past decade, only two new reactors have been completed, both at the plant Voktel facility in Georgia, which faced years of delays and significant cost overruns. The United States currently lacks new reactor construction projects, making it challenging to close the gap with China. The report emphasizes that the United States needs to adopt a similar approach to China, with better coordination in energy policy, streamlined permitting processes, and increased government support to rejuvenate its nuclear power sector and compete effectively on the global stage. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. China has significantly outpaced the U.S. in green energy investment and capacity. In 2022, China spent $546 billion on low-carbon energy transitions, nearly half of the global total, compared to the U.S. S. $141 billion. This investment includes renewables, energy storage, electrified transport, and carbon capture. China's installed renewable energy capacity is extensive, with plans to increase it to 3.9 terawatts by 2030. This is more than three times its 2022 total. Major projects include massive solar and wind farms in its western desert regions, connected to eastern markets via high-speed transmission lines. In contrast, the U.S. saw clean energy sources comprising 40.6% of its electricity mix in 2022. This includes wind, hydroelectric and solar power, alongside nuclear energy, which, while not renewable, is a significant zero emission source. The U.S. added 32 gigawatts of wind and solar capacity in 2022, less than the 37 gigawatts added in 2021 due to higher costs and supply chain issues. 
China's government supports renewable energy through substantial state-backed investments and policies aimed at integrating renewables into the national grid. This includes incentives for distributed rooftop solar installations and rural renewable projects, significantly boosting distributed photovoltaic capacity. The U.S. has focused on significant federal investment and policy incentives, such as those in the Inflation Reduction Act, which promotes the adoption of electric vehicles, EVs, and other clean technologies. However, the U.S. faces competition from China's established supply chains, particularly in solar panels and EV batteries, where China holds dominant market shares. Despite its advancements in renewables, China still generates about 70% of its electricity from fossil fuels, particularly coal. This reliance on coal poses a significant challenge to reducing overall emissions. Conversely, the U.S. has seen a reduction in coal-fired generation, which fell to 19.4% of its electricity mix in 2022, with natural gas and renewables filling the gap. The U.S. maintains the highest number of operational nuclear plants globally, with 93 reactors across 54 nuclear power plants in 28 states. However, the country has seen a decline in new nuclear construction projects. Currently, Plant Vogtel in Georgia is the only ongoing nuclear construction project in the U.S., which underscores a significant slowdown in expanding nuclear capacity. While the U.S. has been a leader in nuclear power providing about 19 to 20 percent of the country's electricity for decades, the pace of new developments has lagged. The average age of U.S. reactors is about 42 years, and the sector has faced challenges such as regulatory hurdles, high costs, and lengthy construction times. These factors have contributed to delays and budget overruns in recent projects, such as the new units at Plant Vodal. In contrast, China is rapidly expanding its nuclear capabilities, with numerous reactors under construction and a robust plan to build more. This dynamic highlights the need for the U.S. to adopt a more strategic approach to nuclear energy development to maintain its leadership and support clean energy goals. The United States faces several challenges that have contributed to its lag in nuclear power development compared to other countries like China. A significant factor is the negative public perception of nuclear energy, which has been shaped by notable nuclear disasters over the past few decades. These incidents have left a lasting impact on the public psyche, fostering a belief that nuclear energy is unsafe. This perception is further reinforced by ongoing debates over the management and disposal of nuclear waste. Political hurdles also play a crucial role in this lag. Public sentiment against nuclear energy strongly influences political decisions, creating substantial barriers to the approval and development of new nuclear plants. Politicians, wary of backlash from their constituents, are often reluctant to support nuclear projects. This has resulted in a lack of cohesive national strategy and insufficient funding for the advancement of nuclear technology. Moreover, the regulatory environment in the U.S. is complex and often slow, adding to the challenges of developing new nuclear infrastructure. The process of obtaining permits and approvals is lengthy, and the stringent safety regulations, while necessary, contribute to delays and cost overruns. This regulatory framework needs to be streamlined to facilitate quicker and more cost-effective development of nuclear projects. The United States faces significant economic challenges in its efforts to expand nuclear power, primarily due to the high capital costs associated with nuclear energy development. Building a nuclear power plant requires substantial upfront investment, which includes costs for design, engineering, construction, and regulatory compliance. These projects are often financially intensive and involve long lead times before they become operational. In the U.S., these high capital costs are frequently passed on to ratepayers early in the development process. This financial strategy can make nuclear energy less attractive compared to other energy sources that have lower initial costs and can provide quicker financial returns. For instance, natural gas plants and renewable energy installations such as wind and solar are typically cheaper to build and can be brought online more rapidly, offering a more flexible and economically viable option for energy generation. Additionally, the financial risks and uncertainties associated with nuclear power projects, such as potential cost overruns and construction delays, further exacerbate the economic challenges. These factors contribute to a cautious investment climate, where private investors and utility companies may be reluctant to commit to new nuclear projects, 
without significant government support and incentives. Conversely, China employs a more strategic and supportive approach to nuclear power development. The Chinese government adopts a long-term perspective, leveraging various funding mechanisms to ensure the financial viability of nuclear projects. State-backed banks provide low-interest loans, and substantial government subsidies reduce the financial burden on the nuclear industry. This comprehensive support framework facilitates sustained investment and allows China to pursue an aggressive expansion of its nuclear capabilities. By mitigating financial risks and providing consistent funding, China can efficiently develop new nuclear reactors and advance its position in the global nuclear power landscape. This strategic approach enables China to overcome economic challenges that have hindered the U.S. nuclear industry, emphasizing the need for a similar supportive framework in the U.S. to rejuvenate its nuclear energy sector. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel, which is now on the screen.